Dagon News YouTube channel is what you're watching. Welcome aboard. Got some news for you concerning Saul Canelo Alvarez, uh, his manager and uh, trainer, Eddie Reynoso, plus uh, Chris Eubank Jr. and uh, boxer promotion companies, Ben Shalom. Canelo Alvarez's is manager and trainer, Eddie Reynoso, insists his client will never fight Chris Eubank Jr., Earlier this year, Eubank Jr. and Canelo held negotiations over a September clash, but talks fell through after the Brit priced himself out of uh, the fight. Now, as a result, Canelo was matched up with Eddie Gabelanga, a fight he won via unanimous decision. Meanwhile, Eubank Jr. went on to blast out uh, Camille Seremata uh, inside seven rounds on the Ata uh, Batebie versus Dimitri Bivo undercard in October and uh, as the dust settled on their respective contests uh, Chris Eubank Jr's promoter Ben Shalom told uh, Sky Sports for me the two fights for Eubank are Canelo and uh, Conor Ben we've already started small conversations around the Canelo fight obviously that was closed last time I believe that's a fight that interests Canelo you can imagine the press conference in the United Kingdom and the United States of America, USA. It would be absolutely huge. I think Canelo needs dance partners, but he also needs stars. I don't think his last couple of opponents have been the biggest stars. And Chris Eubank Jr. is certainly a big star. If Saul Canelo Alvarez is ever going to fight in the United Kingdom, that's the fight, and uh, that would sell out Wembley Stadium. That's number one on the list uh, for me. But Eddie Reno also, renowned uh, trainer and uh, manager of uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, the man uh, tasked with finding Canelo's opponents, has made his stance on uh, the Eubank Jr. fight abundantly clear. It's totally false. Eddie Reno also told uh, Dan Raphael's uh, uh, Fight Freaks uh, Unite uh, Substack. Eubank had his chance to fight Canelo in September, and the only thing he did was complicate the negotiations. We will now not touch base with him again for a future fight. Whatever I tell you is always true. I don't like making statements, but what I declare is true. Canelo is targeting. Uh... Now, Adrian also went on to say that uh, he doesn't like making statements, but uh, what he says is true. That's what he said. And uh, uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez is targeting a return on uh, his usual Sincho de Mayo weekend uh, slot in Las Vegas. That is on May 3rd. However, Eddie Reynoso claims they haven't had any serious conversations about uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez's next outing. For now, Saul Canelo Alvarez is resting and uh, vacationing until December. Reynoso added before revealing they will sit down to plan for 2025 once uh, he is back. Among the list of potential options is a super fight with uh, Terence Bad. Crawford, Saudi boxing chief, His Excellency Taki Alal Shiki, is very keen to get the fight over the line and even made Canelo an offer earlier this year. However, a breakdown in communication led to His Excellency Taki Alal Shiki retracting his uh, a proposal back then. So, now understand that uh, uh, the Canelo side, uh, train and manager Adrian also reveals it clearly that they are not interested in uh, fighting Chris Eubank Jr. He had his chance to fight Canelo, and uh, they think that uh, he foiled uh, uh, such chance, so there is no more chance for him to fight uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez. But you never say never in business. If the man is right, anything can happen. But who's behind uh, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. to fight? Will uh, Ben Shalom uh, search for the monies to finance such a bout? I don't think so, because 
if you to entice Canelo into a fight, you have to uh, come with big monies. And I don't think that the Chris Eubank team has that. Uh, so you, you see more of Terence Crawford fighting Canelo. Maybe a super fight with uh, Alta Batebiev or a rematch with uh, Dimitri Bivo. But you don't see Canelo uh, going that way. I don't think he, he would uh, 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 favor himself going into uh, fights with uh, Dmitry Bivol at Abatebiev. So you, you're thinking they might still go for the Terence Crawford fight. Uh, well, well, may, maybe, maybe later on in the year on the weekend of the Mexico independence. But it's all there to see and wait. Ben Shalom had earlier claimed that conversations were ongoing. I don't know who he was talking to or maybe he was um, just uh, throwing a stone in a forest and see what happens and see which animal uh, does run or which animal is there, a kind of thing like that. And... Uh, now that uh, Adrian also has come out to say a thing about that, uh, it seems there isn't any negotiations going on. But it, it, it can be also uh, talk back to, 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 to see reactions coming out of uh, the boxing fans. Do they really want the fight? Does it really make sense? All that, all that. But at the end of the day, it will always depend on who is going to finance that uh, fight. And uh, you don't see a anyone getting interested in that fight in as far as uh, sponsors are concerned. So I think uh, most all, most definitely it, it will be the Terence Crawford fight that uh, uh, will make, uh, uh, will be among the... Uh, will be on the list of uh, opponents uh, that Canelo will be fighting in uh, 2025. What do you think of all this? Place your comments in the comment section below. I sign out. Peace.